Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about GTA 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online, kind of a year in review. What do we think about the good and the bad about both of those a year after the game has come out? Now, it is Thursday, September 18th. Hopefully, when you guys are watching this, and I wanted to make this on the anniversary, but I didn't want to spam you guys with videos. So, I'm making it today, and of course, it's been a year since Grand Theft Auto 5's come out. It's been a little less than a year for GTA Online, but we're just going to assume that we're close enough to that point. And yeah, GTA 5 has been out for a year. Again, I want to talk about the good, the bad, and everything in between. So, I guess we'll start with story mode and story Story mode really blew all of my expectations out of the water. It was absolutely fantastic. It was one of the best Grand Theft Auto 5 campaigns I've ever played, or Grand Theft Auto campaigns, I should say, that I've ever played. Now, I really loved Grand Theft Auto 4. I love San Andreas and Vice City, but there was just something about Grand Theft Auto 5 that was really awesome. You know, everyone said that you're supposed to get attached to one of the characters, either Michael, Trevor, or Franklin. And I really got super connected to all three. You know, Rockstar did a great job of bringing those characters to life and, you know, giving them real features and traits and, you know, having feelings for each of the characters, hardships and struggles and success. So it was a great way to really connect with all three of those characters. And it really made my single player experience that much better. So the second thing about single player that I love so much was the world of Los Santos and San Andreas. It was a sprawling metropolis, this environment that I love so much, Los Santos and San Andreas that we even get to play on today in Grand Theft Auto Online. It's just a great environment. It's a great open world. Rockstar provided us with an unbelievable sandbox to play in, and it was just a fantastic environment. Not saying that Liberty City or Vice City wasn't there, but there's just something about Los Santos and there's something about this environment that we're playing in. It's, it's it's just really spectacular and I really love it. So that's one of the other great reasons why I had such a great time playing single player. It was just exploring things that I'd never seen before. The wilderness, the city, the wildlife, everything. So it was a great experience and it really made my single player, you know, whole scenario awesome. So moving on to Grand Theft Auto Online, this is probably where a lot of people are going to really waver with me a little bit because there were huge expectations for GTA Online. Now, have I had a ton of fun with Grand Theft Auto Online? Absolutely. The DLCs, the races, everything like that, new exclusive content, I've loved every single bit of it. But there's also been some stuff that has kind of been a little bit of a disappointment. The fact that GTA Online doesn't have the same, you know, physics, engine, and mechanic feel as GTA 5 single player. The fact that there were some cut features like heist didn't make it into the game yet lots of weapons lots of other side missions didn't come into grand theft auto online and it felt like a beta almost the gta online was kind of like a beta we didn't get the full thing and it just went through a lot of struggles from the from the original launch to again things that were promised that are not here right now like heist the stock market never really made its way into the game and there was just a lot of things that they had to fix it hasn't really been a smooth sailing ship now, with that out of the way, this is Rockstar Games' first try at like a Grand Theft Auto online multiplayer like this, like a dedicated multiplayer. So I do cut them a little bit of slack, and it's, it's still a work in progress, and I think it's only going to get better, which is why I think year two is going to be one of the best years for Grand Theft Auto V yet. I think we're going to get a story mode DLC. We're going to get tons of GT Online DLC. As you guys already know, we're going to the next generation of consoles and PC. So I think year two is going to be even better than year one for Grand Theft Auto V and in Grand Theft Auto Online. And that's a really hard thing to say because... You know, year number one was so special and so awesome that it's like, how can you even top something like that? So again, I'm very excited for year two. I think it's going to be great. Let me know in the comment section down below how your year one experience was and what you think about for year two and going forward. Of course, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy this video. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 content like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.